right, here we go. So welcome to the 413 Strong podcast. My name's Doug, and it's my goal to help busy Christian men lose inches off their waist while growing their relationship with Christ. So we just went live. What's up, Aaron? I normally go live on Mondays and Wednesdays for the podcast. Um, last Yesterday was crazy, had some different things going on, and I've actually, I've got a little secret I'm keeping from my current clients, something I'm working on, uh, a little treat for them, so that's going to be fun when I reveal it. Actually, a few of them know, but what's going on, guys? What's going on, big man? You're the big man, Aaron. What's going on, bro? So what I want to say is, as I'm recording this podcast entitled why your lower back always hurts i want to say my low back is hurting right now not hurting it's just been stiff and tight this week um just a little bit of how do you know my back hurts man i know because i've been there i've been there i'm there right now but i gotta say my back has felt better in 2023 than it has in years and so i want to talk about why some things i did that helped me this year and some things you could do, I'm particularly talking to you guys that are in the gym a lot. All right, and a couple other things. Um, if we are like really close to FitFest 2024, this is going to be a um, expo for fitness enthusiasts in the area. Anybody wanting to get in better shape, you're going to want to be here. And it is, if I'm not mistaken, January 20th and 21st at the ETSU Mini Dome. I'm gonna have a table there. I'm gonna be speaking, um, doing a special seminar, how to lose your dad bod. I'm also gonna be doing a posing seminar. Even if you're not a bodybuilder, there's benefits in learning to pose and engage certain muscles. So you're gonna to wanna to check that out just for fun. It's gonna be fun. So check that out. And if you don't care, fill out this survey if you're on Facebook. Um, what would you like to see at my vendor table? So I've got a survey up, let me know. Fill that out for me. I'm curious to hear. But as I was saying, I am currently dealing with some low back pain recording a podcast called Why Your Lower Back Always Hurts. But like I was saying, my back has felt better in 2023 than it has in years. Like I've, I've had less incidences where I've hurt my back. And I, I want to talk about why, even though I was in a quote unquote bulking season this year, I was gaining a lot. I was spending a lot of time under heavy weights, but my back was better than ever. All right, and there's some things I've learned that a lot of guys do when they work out, okay? Or, or don't or don't do. First problem I see is just your form is terrible. And I see guys go in and they do half-hearted exercises, okay? You can see there's no intention. There's no... You know, they're just moving the weight up and down. They're slinging it around, and they're not really, like, making it count. And that's the problem. Like, you need to know when is that stretched feeling there. You need to milk it, and then come all the way up to the peak contraction. And on exercises, especially like a barbell bent over a row, if you don't know what it feels like to hip hinge. And I've got a video coming up on the coming up on this in the next couple weeks. If you don't know what it's like to hip hinge back and feel the tension in your hamstrings and glutes, not your lower back, then yeah, you're gonna definitely hurt your back doing something like a bent over barbell row. And that's where a lot of guys go wrong. Just little form things like that. You need to research a little more before you just jump in and do all these exercises. And that's the second problem. A lot of guys are just doing entirely too many exercises. You're doing barbell back squats, barbell deadlifts, barbell bent over rows, and they're all awesome exercises, but all stacked together at the same time may not be the best. May not be the best. If you are wanting to train your quads really heavy, your back really heavy, and get a strong deadlift, 
Maybe do something other than squats. Maybe do something other than barbell rows. Do like a chest supported row. And then you can still do deadlifts. You gotta kinda pick and choose. I personally have always been the top. And here like lately this year, I was really focusing on back and shoulders. So I was doing a lot of machine based leg movements. I was doing even the hip thrust machine for my main like, you know, hip hinge movement. And that way I could just go all in on like rows and back training. You kind of got to pick and choose and specialize if you want to be smart about it and not injure your back. Someone said, here's why my back hurts. I'm fat and I don't sleep. Then boom, imbalance on the back and hips. I'm going to be honest, losing weight does a lot of good. It does a lot of good for a lot of things, but it can also help with posture and back pain. And I've, that's a whole other thing we could talk about posture. Some people say, oh, nothing wrong with bad posture. We're all different, but like you want good posture. You want your posture to be the best it can be so you feel the best you can be. Um, and that's one thing lifting teaches you. But here's the third reason that I find guys are um, always hurting the back. And the first one, of course, was, um, well, let me just get into this third one. This is, this is a big one. Um, man, when I used to, like in college, I was trying to find like the quote unquote secret. I was lifting, I was getting some results, but not the best results. And I was like, okay, what is, you know, what am I missing? So I was consuming different content. And back then content was came in the way of forums, magazines. And eventually I found this guy named Mark Ripito. Awesome writer, awesome at delivering uh, content on how different exercises should be done um, from a, a mechanical standpoint. But Mark Ripito helps people get strong. That's his thing. And some of you have a goal most of you, because I was an in-person trainer for a while, I'm an on-person trainer now, I get applications telling me your goals. Very few people's goal is just to get strong. They're out there, but most people's goal are to lose the gut and gain more muscle and feel better. If that's your goal, having a 700 pound deadlift doesn't correlate with that. Do you know what I mean? If that's your goal, having a 600 pound squat may not make it may not be the best thing for you that's all fine and good but your goal should be to specifically attack losing the gut losing the weight even if you're busy and by the way if you're in college my man you're going to look back when you're in your 30s and 40s and wonder what you did with all the spare time i'm just keeping it real bro but why not take a specific approach instead of saying well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do CrossFit. I mean, would you say I'm going to be an NFL player to get in shape? That's a lot of <laughs> fatigue and a lot of like abuse on your body just to have a six pack. There's easier ways to do this. So, you know, being a power lifter, which Mark Ripito kind of is in that power lifting scene, doesn't make the most sense for most of your goals. And that's why when you follow someone that doesn't align with your goals, you're going to find some side effects like back pain from doing things that you necessarily shouldn't be doing. And so one of the big reasons I found a lot of guys are in back pain is because they're following people, whether it be a coach, whether it be an influencer, a favorite athlete, you want to have that 800 pound hip thrust, like what's his name did on the Steelers, or you want to do the you pick whatever WWE guy or whatever celebrity and you're just following his their workout because you want to look like that guy it doesn't align it's not a specific route to what you want and what you need and that's where a lot of you guys go wrong so hopefully that made sense for you today hopefully it shed some light on why some of you have low back pain quite often and I wanted to leave by saying one more thing my clients are currently we're doing a 24 day to Christmas sprint today is day 12 and so we're halfway there and it's been a lot of fun we're seeing a lot of good progress there's a lot there's a little extra like oomph in the group and that's rare to see in December 
But that's exactly what I wanted to do because the scary thing about December is that oftentimes I've seen people say you lose on average five or you gain, sorry, five pounds on average in December. And I've seen other people say, no, it's more like a pound. The average person gains a pound in December. I don't care if it's one pound or five pound. Here's the point. Most people that gain that weight in December, they don't lose it in January. And the reason they don't lose it in January is because they weren't serious about losing it in December. And you weren't serious about losing it in December because you said, well, I'm too busy. Guys, if, you're, if you don't know how to make something fit your schedule, whether it's because of Christmas, whether it be in, it's because of college, you won't make it work later. If you'll make an excuse today, you'll make an excuse tomorrow. And that's why you can't lose your gut. And that's why you've got back pain is because you keep making excuses. So if you want to get serious, you need to have like a plan of attack in now because if you want to not gain a pound, five pounds, whatever it is in December, you need to have a plan of attack on how to lose a pound in December or lose five pounds in December. And so I encourage you, and I'll be live again tomorrow, but I encourage you to make sure you've got something in place. If you need some help, I've got a free resource. I've got an ebook called Dominate December. And it's some things me and some of my best clients use in December to stay on track. Not only just stay on track, but even make serious progress, all right? So if you'd be interested in that, just comment the word dominate and I'll send it your way. All right, guys, appreciate you watching and hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday. Appreciate you watching Facebook.